Hey there guys and girls, my name is Snowy and this is a little tutorial about those people who want to play City Skylines for the first time and they do not know for sure what kind of hardware or computer they would need to actually play this game. Now, a little introduction into place, it's like this game has been released in 2015, so that's nearly 8 years ago. The little problem that this game has, it's its engine, which uh, it's running on. Uh, the engine is called Unity, and the main problem is that this engine only supports, at best, 4 CPU cores and 8 threads. So, that leads us directly to the first thing of business. If you buy this game, and you think about buying a new processor, then what is more important, I'm clicking this button over here, is like uh, the single clock speed of a processor. Now, I'm going to tweakers.net, which is a Dutch website where they do all kinds of price uh, comparisons and whatnot. And you can do a, a slide here to, for example, let's see, um, where is it? Clock frequency. So I sli slide it all the way up to 4.5 gigahertz. That's the base clock frequency. You can also put up a maximum turbo clock frequency, but let's say if you are not into that, the most important aspect is the single core speed of modern day processor. Now, whether this is an eight core, a 16 core or 12 core for city skylines, mm, it doesn't really matter. Now, of course, a 16 core is of course better than a six core because you have like windows and your antivirus and maybe some other things running in the background that might interfere with it. So the more processors you have, the better. But let's say that even an eight core is more than enough. And let's say that this processor, the AMD Ryzen 7, 7700X is running at a native base speed of 4.5 gigahertz, which is quite a lot, you know, for, uh, for city skylines. I mean, that's, yeah. You can even overclock it to 5.4 gigahertz if you have the proper cooler to do it. So that's the thing about processors. For this game, City Skylines, it's the most important thing to have the highest single core processor, right? Okay, now we're going to the next thing which is important, which is your storage device, because City Skylines likes RAM. We will come to that in a moment. It likes RAM, but it also, you know, likes to date your virtual memory or known as the page file of your computer. So when I get out of here, the page file you find here, if you go to this PC, you click on properties, you click on advanced system settings, you click on settings, you click on advanced, and here, virtual memory, as you can see, I have addressed 110 gigabytes to the C drive here, as you can see, custom size, initial size, maximum size. This is the way how you set it, by the way, to my C drive. And the C drive is actually an M.2 NVMe SSD. Now that is important. Why is that important? Because those, let's get out of here, get, let's get back here. And let's go here. Now, this is the same site again. We are searching for solid state drives. Now, you can look for 3.0 or 4.0, depending on what your motherboard is capable of uh, having. But what is the most important thing you want to watch at is like, you know, loading capacity because City Skylines loads a lot of assets and mods and whatnot, a lot of little files. So what you want is a N NVMe SSD drive that is, you know, blazing fast. Now you have a whole lot here, you know, but which one to choose, you might ask. Like, well, what one do I choose? Yeah, you can, you can look at this thing, you know, 7000 megabyte per second, blah, blah, blah. But what is the most important thing is, and I will scroll down here, is, sorry for the Dutch language, by the way, but anyway, this said read random 4K. So 
this is written in Dutch, my excuse for that, but I will translate this. 4K random read is a pattern in which small blocks 4K uh, of data will be read uh, from random locations from the surface of the device. Well, uh, in this case, the SSD. Now, if you, uh, if you unfold this, it is called IOPS. IOPS stands for input output per second. Now, the more you slide this to the right, the less results we will get. All right, we have still like a whole bunch of SSDs, so we can still slide this up. So where we are, we slide it up even further, 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 further. 715,000, we still have a lot. We slide it even further to over a million, 18 results leaving. Now we're getting here into the realm of like, you know, these kinds of SSDs, you can see already the price here. I mean, forget about those, you know, those are, unless you are a millionaire and you don't care, you can try it, but it's like, you know, we are targeting the normal average user. But we are getting here into the realm of like the, the Samsung SSDs, and this is one of my favorite. I already, you can already see that I clicked this once because this is also the one I want to buy. And what I like about these is that the price, it's reasonable. You know, you have a one terabyte, I will click it and I click on properties. Sorry, it's Dutch, but I mean, it's the idea that counts. And we go down, this one is PCI Express 4.0 times four. It's blazing fast. It's like reading. You know, sequential that is like at uh, at a you know sequential is like for large files at 7.4 gigabytes per second. Imagine that for 7.4 gigabyte per second, and it can write with 6.9 gigabyte per second. But it's all about the IOPS. Look look at these IOPS. It's like 1.4 million IOPS. That that's a lot. I mean, this will definitely help in both loading the game. Yeah, if you install the game on this disk drive, but also when you put the page file on this drive. Yeah? Because RAM by nature is pretty fast. But this, what you are seeing here, is also blazing fast. And this will only help loading the game very, very fast. Trust me, it will do. Yeah? Okay, now what I said about the RAM itself, City Skylines loves RAM. I would definitely say 32 gigabytes minimum if you use a lot of mods and assets. If you really like a lot of assets and you have like uh, the most popular mods installed, you have at least maybe, I don't know, 60, 70 or 80. I have 90 mods and I have 70, no, sorry, 7,000 assets and I have 64 gigabytes. The game uses it all, you know, it takes all the 64 gigabytes of memory or at least most of it and it takes around 50 gigabytes of page file. So it takes over roughly 100 gigabytes of total memory uh, divided over the RAM and divided in the virtual, virtual memory. So I would say, that here we go to this part having 64 gigabytes of memory that would be the best thing now i selected here the ddr5 because the motherboard that i want to uh, you know to buy uses ddr5 which is pretty expensive at the time of writing currently at 18 october 2022 so i can wait a little bit and the more mts it has you know 6000 mts you know, the faster it is. And in this case, the faster, the better. 64 gigabytes. Yeah, I would definitely uh, recommend that. You can play with 32, but then you have to play around with the page file. Make sure then that the page file is a little bit bigger and that would do perfectly fine also. Now, last but not least, it's the graphics card. So I just plunked down here uh, a little page you see like an RTX 1000, uh, 3070, a 2070, a GTX and a GTX 970. To be frankly honest, think about it. What is City Skylines? Is it a game? Well, yes, you might think, but it has more in common with a simulator than a game. The thing is, when you play City Skylines and you would open your task manager, you would see that your 
processor, your CPU, is doing all the hard work. You know, it's sweating, it's like, <laughs> you know? And at the same time, your, your graphics card is like, you know, nearly sleeping, like, you know? That's why you have low FPS. The low FPS is not caused by lack of, you know, graphic card. It's caused by the CPU. The CPU, especially when your city is growing, your CPU has to calculate all the paths and all the motion, all the actions that are happening inside the city and send that information to the graphics card that is just putting it on screen for you to make a visual representation of what is happening. But your graphics card is just showing most of the time static stuff. The game, and I call it the game, is pretty static if you if you play it, you know, you have a lot of, of stuff that is just standing still. All the buildings, once they are there, they are just standing still. And the only thing that is moving is traffic uh, and maybe the surface of the water area and, and maybe some rivers and, and that's it. So whether you use an RTX 3070 or a GTX 1000, 1070, for the game, even in 4K resolution, it is not really making a big difference. Unless, and I say unless, you are really going to monkey around with like uh, things like Ulot, and also um, there are more mods that can enhance the, 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 the visuals in the game. But still, these cards will, will do that pretty well. Now, I would not take the GTX 970. I mean, that's already a, a pretty old, old card. But a GTX 1070, from my own experience, you know, can do this game pretty much pretty well. So you don't have to overspend too much on very expensive graphics card. Not for City Skylines anyway. Use that money to get more RAM and a fast storage device. And of course, a fast processor. And if you have done that, then you can play this game, you know, with all the mods and all the assets that you want. So guys, that's that's sort of basically my little tutorial about City Skylines, what you need and what is important, what to know about it. And as you can see, it's also here for sale for like, wow, for like uh, $6.99. I know there are DLCs you have to pay separately for, but trust me, it's worth it. You know, once you start this game, you cannot get away from it. I mean, it's like, it's already eight years old. I'm playing it also already in like six years and it never bothers. And you know, you always try new things out. Always you try out new cities and new approaches and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just great. But you have to know what, uh, what of kind of hardware that fits the game. If you really want to play this game. So we leave it at that and uh, I uh, would say wish you well with uh, picking out your hardware and this uh, information I think might be useful for you so you know exactly what you need for this game. Okay guys, good luck with playing and see you next time. See you!